Today we will solve a relative motion analysis problem. So our problem has two link, link A to B, which is joined by a pin connection here to the link C and B. The end of link CB, C is connected to a collar here that can slide upward or downward on that shaft which is creating 45 degree angle with the horizontal so this would be also 45 the arm AB has an angular velocity of 4 radian per second so this arm AB is rotating in this direction this rotation causes on point B a tendency to move on this direction so we know that arm AB or line can have angular velocity but a point B can always have a uh, simply velocity so it would be tangent to point B creating 90 degree here so this velocity will cause this um, collar C so this will push the arm this direction this arm will push this collar C downward so the collar C will have a velocity along this direction so what is given is that the angular velocity of arm or link AB is given in counterclockwise direction 4 radian per second and also um, the arm or the length of those links are given 500 millimeter this CB is 350 millimeter and the angles are also given so the question asks us to find the velocity of the collar here C and also the angular velocity of the arm CB so what is the angular velocity which direction we don't know and what is the velocity of color um, we have to find it before we solve the problem um, we always just read the problem and see what the first thing that comes to our mind so what is our first thought um, we want to know what type of analysis we should do to solve this problem well if you watch the theoretical part of the relative motion analysis we know that for general plane motion which is in this case here we're having rotation and um, this C is moving downward so that is having translation so it's a together it's a general plane motion so for a general plane motion if we have a pin connection one of the criteria is that um, we can use the relative motion analysis since we know that we have to use relative motion analysis and we are looking for the velocity at point C here and also the angular velocity of the arm CB so we can use our relative uh, relative motion velocity equation uh, on this um, link C and B so we're looking for VC we put a vector sign because it has a direction and we can use the other point point B here we cannot do point A here because they are not connected C is connected with this is C B is the one body here so we have to take the two points on the same body so we're taking C and B points so VC would be equals to V B and what would be the next term V of whether C B or B C the easiest way to remember is that C come first B come seconds we, all, we also write velocity of um, C with respect to B it's the easiest way to remember it so this will be our main equation to solve we're looking for V C and we always can write V C B as if you uh, watch the theory part 
we can write it as a multiplication of angular velocity vc into cross product with um, the radial distance r of um, b with re respect to c i'm sorry it will be um, c r c with respect to b because the velocity is c with respect to b so the r has to be the same so if we plug this equation here we can write this equation so this equation is the equation it will be our uh, main equation if we can solve this we can get our target omega bc and our velocity vc here one thing to notice is here bc is a vector which is equals to the vector vb and you see omega bc which is angular velocity i put a vector mark on the bottom so this is also a vector so this um, angular velocity omega bc will have a direction as well as the rcb also a vector it will also have uh, i j k in this case only i j component so this is also a vector this is also a vector because you cannot do cross product without if are they are not vectors so now we can start our solution and where do we start we still look for this one we still we are looking for this one we already know rcb from uh, this length so vb we can if we can get vb we can get this too so let's start uh, working on the vb part how can we find v velocity of point b so how do we find the velocity at point b so this is the velocity at point B. We know that the angular rotation of this link AB. So what we can do, we can always apply the relative motion equation at point from point B and A. So our equation would be this. And since A is fixed because this is the axis of rotation, A is not moving. So what will give us that VA is zero omega b a uh, we told you is that it's a vector so if we use our right hand rule so my finger would be towards the direction of rotation so my thumb will be perpendicular to the surface or to the page so that will be our positive k direction so we can write omega b a which is given as 4 k so in, in k direction perpendicular to the page um cross product of vba so what is vba so we can um uh write actually this will be r because we need the radius here not the velocity so what is rba so initial minus minus final so this is b position minus a position if we assume that this is our origin so posi position vector of a will be zero zero and um we then we only have to worry about position b so how can we get position b from the um our origin here we can get the x component and we can get the y component to get it so if we know the arm length of a b is 500 millimeter which is 0.5 meter we can take the cos 60 to get this component and we can get sin 60 to get the y component. So if we put the value of omega ba which is 4 radian here and if we take cross product of this. So let's worry about the uh, numerical values first 4 multiplied by 0.5 cos 60 that gives me 1 and uh, 4 multiplied by 0.5 sine 60 gives me 1.73 so what will be the direction so we have to use this rule to find the direction so k unit k multiplied by unit i cross product so this if, if this is the uh, this is the um, formula we have to use for we are taking counterclockwise positive so if i 
class product j then we can write positive k so here in this case we have k cross product i which is k cross product i it is the same direction as positive so we'll write positive j here um, similarly for the cross product of k cross product j which is k to j which is opposite to our direction so it will be negative i so k to j k j it will give me negative i because it's an opposite direction so instead of writing plus here we have to write minus minus i so this will be our vb velocity of b in vector form now we will see the second way uh, to find vector vb so the second way to find vb is that we can use the concept of if we have a disk here if we know the angular velocity of the disk we can find the velocity of a point on the disk or maybe at the edge point b as um, v v will be omega r the radius of the disk it will not give you the uh, the direction or vector form it will just give you the magnitude and the direction is perpendicular with the radial radial so it is tangent on the um, disk so if we plug the value the radius of a b if we assume this is a disk a circular disk so velocity of vb can be multiplied with omega multiplied by the arm length 0.5 meter which will give me 2 meter per second this is the magnitude of velocity of point b which would be tangent to the point b like say likewise so we know this angle is 60 so if we know this is horizontal so this angle is also 60 and if this is perpendicular so this angle here will be 30 degree if we know this angle is 30 and this is the direction of vb we can always get the coordinates of our vector form of the velocity vb so if we solve this equation 2 multiplied by cos 30 we will get 1 point negative 1.7 i and j which is the same value as the previous slide on the first way so this is the two different way you can find the velocity at point b so now we can look back to our target equation here we can find rcb and we have our vb uh, which is in uh, in vector form so we have also have to write vc in vector form um, and we'll go from there so we know the direction of color c is downward and if we take a parallel line this is 45 so this angle is also 45 so we can take uh, x component which will be cos 45 and we can get y component which will be sine 45 so we can rewrite the vc vector in uh, magnitude vc magnitude vc multiplied by cos 45 and sine 45 so this will be the vector form of our velocity v at point c now is the time to find the rcb because we are about to use the equation so rcb would be position c here minus position b they are in so this direction which is negative um, in x direction so and this is horizontal is 350 millimeter so our rcb would be 0 0.35 which direction i and this is in negative direction so we have to put a negative sign so negative point um, 35 i so now all we have to do is that plug this value of vc here and we'll get the value of vb from previous slide uh, this is the magnitude we're looking for we'll left it as is um, it's a vector we can get its sign and then this is also vector rcb and so we'll plug here so what is would be the vector of omega bc so we are assuming that since vb is in this direction so cb can rotate counterclockwise we'll assume counterclockwise is rotating if we get the value negative so we'll know that cb was rotating clockwise so for now we'll assume that the link cb is rotating counterclockwise so we will um, get 
omega b c vector omega b c we can write as a omega b c um, k uh, positive k in k direction so outward from the surface or out of of the paper so here we have our main equation we put the value of vc which is uh, this term here equal sign which is this sign and for vb we put the value of vb here and for omega bc we put this value so this is the equation uh, we have a cross product so we have to deal with the cross product first so again we are using this rule um, from k cross cross product to i so this direction k to i it will give us positive j so we can write this one as a as a negative 0.35 omega bcj so if we write rewrite this part we will get so we plug the value of uh, the cross product so we got this equation now all we have to do is that uh, separate the i and j so we'll get two equation take all the i's so this part will be equals to negative 1.73 and the other part this negative vc sine 45 would be equals to 1 minus 0.35 uh, omega bc so if we solve the first equation we'll get vc equals to 2.45 meter per second and from the second equation you will get the omega bc which is 7.81 uh, radian per second again you have to take all the i components one side so minus vc cos 45 would be equals to negative 1.73 that's your one equation and the second equation is the uh, rest of the j's so vc sine 45 equals to 1 minus 0 0.35 bc so this will be um, our result if you have any more question you can always comment and i'll um, answer thank you uh, next video will solve more problems till then uh, see you.